<laughs> I was waiting in traffic and I was in the second to leftmost lane and there was just like mad traffic and the, the lane next to me was open. So I go to like, you know, switch lanes and it's dead stop. There's a guy in a fucking like AMG behind me. And like, we both go to like, go into that lane at uh-huh. the same time, but I'm just in front of him. Like, right. Obviously everyone's going to try and go into Yes. Him. And this guy loses his mind <laughs> and starts speeding through the bike lane <laughs> And then fucking oh, this is like on a cuts surface me street. off, and it's like, wh- all right, I you guess. were in for what you did. Absolutely in front nothing of him. wrong. He cut, and then he's like freaking out in his car <laughs> in his middle. But it's just some fucking Italian guy, and he starts spitting out of the window. We're <laughs> 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 like, just laughing at him. <laughs> he's like, mom, fucking bottle, fucking bottle, just spitting, <laughs> spitting out the window. <laughs> <laughs> incredible dude wow. marking his territory yeah and boston i almost got shouts out there when he came out to boston by the way thank you city side comedy that shit rocked but on my way there i don't know how fucking shitty the traffic is in like downtown boston also if you brought one of my shirts to stop show to have him sign it you owe me extra money no one did that uh yes they did no i heard one. from numerous people no one what did, did that. you sign i signed nothing i signed just nothing i'm like here's my thing here's what i'll sign Double D's mm-hmm. with my tongue. Oh yeah, I have a tongue. happy Gilmore style. <laughs> That's right. Um, but I I got some fucking fat old man tried to cut me off in Boston, and I fucking lost it on his ass. But he was just a fat bald man in a Hawaiian shirt. Mm-hmm. It was just me fighting with future me. Yeah, a lot of screaming, a lot of scream. Well, he was he didn't want the smoke, dude. He could tell I was an alpha, dude. Yeah. He did. He could see me, dude. He could tell I had taken a couple yoga classes. I miss driving that truck because, like, you would just cut people off and then watch them have like a fucking meltdown. It's like, go ahead, I'll hit you with this truck. <laughs> <laughs> I do not give a shit about this truck. If you want to get into a game of of lane chicken with me, I will run over your car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even technically I, liable. And then, and then I'll get out of the truck and leave the damage <laughs> and be like, oh, I guess I'm off work. <laughs> I guess I, I guess I finished work early today. <laughs> yeah. Didn't you guys do some damage? Allegedly? Uh, uh, Nick allegedly did some damage <laughs> when we were uh, picking up a second truck. Mm-hmm. It, well, the first time I ever worked that In job. Midtown. The, the first time I ever worked that job, I was working with a guy. And uh, like we were pulling out of the lot and he's like, you know, you hit something. He's like, you're supposed to stop. Like as he's saying it, he <laughs> <laughs> he takes the corner too hard and just destroys the back of this minivan. He's like, ah, okay. Well, I guess maybe I'll pull over. <laughs> and then he's like looking in the mirror as we're driving. We're just conti- we're just continuing to drive away. He's looking in the mirror. He's like, ah, I guess a couple of people saw. They'll take care of it. <laughs> 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 I was like, what do you mean they'll take care of it? And he's like, they probably got the plates and stuff. Yeah, they though. got the plates. <laughs> it's all right. They'll get the info back. It'll get no, back to no, them. They'll figure it. <laughs> <laughs> they'll put it together. <laughs> I took a mirror. I took a side mirror off while I was driving a van full of children. Yeah. When I volunteered in college. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. And I was like, nobody snitch. Yeah. And they loved it. Mm-hmm. They loved being in on some criminal activity. Yeah. I mean, what that kind of shit. All them kids? That, that would happen like all the fucking time on the truck is like mirrors would come off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fucking, yeah. And that's like, you know, I mean, nobody's, nobody's stopping for that. I talked to one of the guys I worked with. I'm like, do you stop? And he's like, yeah, one time I, I hit a guy. <laughs> 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 that's the threshold yeah he's, he's like the mirror fucking like knock that knock some old guy out oh my god <laughs> like, as he's like turning the corner he's like fucking knock him. and he's like i got out i'm like oh i'm so sorry and he was like oh it's fine i was like all right later i'm sure he did not say it's fine yeah, yeah he didn't stop he ran yeah. over that old man <laughs> the guy is dead <laughs> for a fact you remember jose extreme parking oh god that guy was the best we'll talk about jose real quick all right so nick nick gets me a job he's like you just gotta sit in the passenger seat <laughs> of this truck that's basically it and then we, we got to move things like a couple times but you just hang out on this truck in the middle of the day, they're like, yeah, we're going to need you to get your own 16-foot truck and drive it around Manhattan. <laughs> just alone, just in a massive Oh, you truck. were alone, but yeah, no, yeah, Nick alone. wasn't with yeah, you? Yeah, they split us yeah. up. For starters, they, the truck they made us pick up, it was like a 20-foot truck. And normally, the trucks are 14-foot. Right. 
And like a 20 foot trot, you don't need a CDL until it reaches like, I don't know, it's a weight thing, but basically like a 30 foot truck. Right. But the difference between 14 and 20 oh, feet is massive. huge when you're driving yeah. that truck. And you get in that wider thing. too. Yeah. Like, you get in that thing and you're like, oh, I shouldn't be driving this fucking truck. No, yeah. Especially around Manhattan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'd feel weird driving in like the fucking Baltimore suburbs yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. in the middle of fucking... And you guys were right in the mix. Dude, we had was a, this? We're like in Midtown driving these massive <laughs> trucks alone. Yeah, <laughs> Midtown. I just lied like, my way into this job. Nick said I just have to sit in the It's not even seat. a lying thing. They don't give a shit. They don't give a fuck. They yeah. don't give a shit. They hire whoever. It's like, <laughs> you know, I got a friend, Brent. He'll do it. And then it's like, okay, we'll go pick up $2 million worth of camera and lighting equipment. <laughs> and they're like, no, we already signed for it. And then just park the truck wherever. They don't even like, give you instructions on where to park So yeah, so like we had a 5 a.m. call. They're like, yeah, it's our responsibility to park the trucks. And so, like, we're supposed to park them in, like, you know, lots or whatever. Um, we had a 5 a.m. call. There's this dude that's just, like, wide awake. We get there to park the trucks. And he's just, like, screaming at people, like, moving trucks, like, air traffic controlling. And, uh, like, I get it. He, like, screams at me to move the truck. And then I get out. And he's like, anyway, man, sorry I yelled at you. Uh, my name is Jose. I'm a small business owner. <laughs> um, I own my own company. It's called Extreme Parking. <laughs> well, he didn't He didn't tell us. He showed us his business card. Yeah, yeah. That's what we found Because we struck up a conversation with him. They, like, hire somebody. And this guy's only job is to just sit outside all night before the shoot and put up traffic cones so oh, wow. that, like, nobody will take the parking right, space. Right, 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 right. Which is like a in new, shooting in New York. You need someone to yeah, totally. Like a, it's called yeah, a so park, park, parking so coordinator. This guy it sounds has, illegal, right? No, you, it's not. No, you, you get permit permits from the city oh, streets. Yeah, yeah, okay. But the way the permits work is it, they don't say that you can't park there. It just allows you to hold the parking space. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So if somebody wanted to come and take that parking space, they could. Gotcha. Um, and that's why you have, like, a cone guy. So this guy's business is he owns the cone. <laughs> <laughs> he's the cones guy yeah. he just owns the, he, the business well he shows a, us his, his business card and it says extreme parking on it <laughs> jose extreme parking yeah and it took everything i had not to like that's incredible I was like, excuse me I have, I, like i have to go they to have the a bathroom. website i found the website i have to take really? a number yeah, laugh yeah, yeah. Yeah. um <laughs> anyway so he's like bragging to us we're like yo so like are the parking guys in new york like union like that's what you ask every job on a film shoot it's like are you yeah. union or not right, because right, that's right. like you know, an easy conversation starter. And he's like, hell no, dude, never going union. I'm <laughs> never going union, bro. He's like, yeah, man, I raised like six kids. I raised like six nine. kids. Nine. nine. I raised you exaggerated nine in the wrong direction on that. <laughs> yeah, one. yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. He's like, I raised nine kids um, last year. Extreme parking made $85,000. <laughs> And like split between me no, no. and my five guys. Well, we asked him. We asked him. He's like, I made ninety thousand dollars last year, and I was like, that's pretty good. Is that before or after tax? He's like, well, it's split between me and my my like eight guys. <laughs> I'm like, that's no money. <laughs> you made no money. <laughs> He's no way I'm going union, man. No way I'm going union, bro. <laughs>